How's it going everyone? My name is Nicola 92 and welcome to an SFM tutorial on how to add different eye textures on models in SFM. So this is an easy tutorial that does not require you to do any changes in any VMF files or anything like that. You only need to have a texture file with a different eye. That's the only thing you need to have. Otherwise, you're good to go. But disclaimer before we continue, this requires us to go into the element viewer and in there, there's very few safety nets. So if you screw something up, you might have corrupted that particular session. So make sure you're doing this in a session you're not afraid of losing. With that out of the way, let's dig in. So first, spawn, I spawn in the heavy here with his eye more open so we can see what we're doing. And I turn off the light in SFM so we can see what we're doing. Now, right click the animation set of the model you want to do this on and then head down here to add override materials. Click on that. Nothing will happen here as you can see, but it has applied a specialized, as I say, like a set to him, so he can now have different textures. Now head up to show in element viewer and click show an element viewer and then model. Click on that. And now you head down in, in here and then go all the way down here to find materials. This area is not normally here. If you have, haven't clicked the uh, add override materials, this box is not here. But if you're done right, it should be a box here that says an amount of items. Click on that and expand it. And here's all the material sets for the heavy. So now find eyeball R or eyeball L, which stands for right or left. So now expand one of these. Let's do the right eye for this tutorial. Do the same thing for the left eye as well. And now right click the green text that says eyeball and then the letter. And then add attribute oops, and string. So you right click the green text, add attribute, string. Once you've done that, rename this new attribute to dollar sign iris. So name it to that, click OK. If done right, you should now have this purple and black checkerboard texture. So that means the eye is now ready to have a new texture on it. So if you downloaded my eye textures on the workshop, I'll add a link in the description, then it should look like you have something like this, but this is now in the workshop folder. So here's all the eye textures I made. So let's add the demon eye texture. So what we need to do is we first we need to copy a certain pathway. So we need to copy from models. So after materials, remember that. So after materials, so copy this models backslash n92 backslash eyes. Remember this can be different, but anything after the materials and backslash anything after this are you supposed to copy so not the backslash here in the beginning just whatever comes after copy this control c control v okay so nothing better happen now so now we add a backslash into this and then we select our eye texture so let's select the demon eye i made so copy the path so copy the name of this and then just paste it in in the end like this. Hit enter. If done correctly, it should look like this. So now you see the heavy has a different eye texture here. So and first we have his default texture here and his new texture. So yeah, that's how you do it. And if it doesn't work, it might be because you have say materials in here as well. And that will kind of mess up the pathfinding. Or you write iris with quote marks in here. Or didn't use the string. It can be a few ways you have done this wrong, but if you follow my steps as I did, you should have this. Otherwise, I don't know what, what can be the problem, but I will if you say if you don't have if you don't get this, then I will try to help you as much as I can. But if you follow my steps then it should be right. So otherwise reverse the video and watch again. Maybe you missed something. You missed a crucial step or something. 
But until then, I hope this video helped. And until next time, take care, everyone.